do a short demo on the Siebel Tom Sawyer integration and in our case uh, a visualization of data for a case entity. In order to perform this demo we will need to find a contact so we'll query uh, for a case number. Uh, we'll execute this query and when the results come up we'll drill down into the case name. So I'm gonna uh, use the um, highlighted case name and through the central part of the screen you are able to see multiple views. For example, if I would like to see activities related to our case, I'm going to select activities views and I'll be able to see them in a few seconds. Then I would like to see which contacts are related uh, to my, uh, my case. So I'll use contact view. Then I'd like to see addresses. So I'll use addresses view. As you can see, I have to perform three actions to go to different views uh, in order to see additional uh, data related to a case number. This action can be now uh, provided through a single, uh, single view called visualization, where we will be able to see a relationship of data between a case and contacts, a case and addresses, a case and activities. So I'm going to go to the visualization and uh, we'll be able, we are able right now to see the relationship of data. The suitcase, the black suitcase in the central is our case. That's the icon which represents a case. Uh, all the people icons represent contacts which are linked to our case. The um, house represents an address. The activities will be um, represented through a pen and a piece of paper. That's the activity um, icon. So as you can see in the left hand side of the Tom Sawyer uh, visualization uh, view, we are able to see multiple icons. Some of them are default Tom Sawyer um, icons, some of them are custom icons. Um, the way we are able to see right now uh, the um, data in visualization view is uh, a symmetrical layout. I would like to change the layout, for example, to an orthogonal. So I'll change it and it will uh, be displayed in this way now. Then if I want to change it back to my symmetrical because I find it um, uh, more, uh, uh, more clear, I will change it back by using symmetrical layout. Maybe I want to save the, um, uh, the, uh, the data graph to, um, uh, to an image. So I'll use save as image and uh, we'll provide the location where we'd like to, to save it, the type uh, you would like to use it to save um, the, um, the graph to an image. Then I would like to um, see details about a specific selected uh, contact. I will select Darius and uh, by using uh, inspector, uh, Tom Sawyer inspector icon, in the left hand side of the screen, I'm able to see multiple uh, fields. If you want to do an update, for example, I'd like to update the gender to a female, the icon is going to be updated to be specific to a lady, and you will be able to save it to the database then. So the changes are going to be saved. Now I'd like to uh, see if the, the contact uh, is uh, maybe not linked to only one case, but it has maybe multiple, con multiple other contacts or uh, cases or addresses and so on. So I'm, I'm going to right click and expand the contact. So I'll try again, expand contact, and it should give me additional uh, details if they exist. So as you can see, we have um, Darius uh, linked to three additional cases. Then uh, maybe you have noticed there is a green line between um, the case Todd Mary and Mary Todd. That's because uh, she is the, um, the primary contact in the case and is uh, um, provided to a different uh, color of the line which links the case to the contact. Now I would like to, maybe I, I'm not in, really interested to, to see the addresses for, for a case. So there is an option to hide different um, 
entities. Like I maybe I wanna hide the cases, I will use the, the cases icon. I wanna hide the contacts, I will use the contact icon. I wanna hide the addresses, I will use the address icon. So as you can as you can see it, it disappeared from our graph. If I wanna bring it back, it's back now. So I'm gonna uh, hide it. The next action I would like to perform is to link a case to a contact. I want to create an additional relationship. In order to create an additional relationship, there is an icon called Between Tool. I will use the Between Tool icon and link this case, Cooper Mary, to Johnson. Okay, now uh, the relationship, uh, it can be a, for a specific, uh, specific type. So in the left-hand side of the screen, you are still able to see the inspector and uh, different values for the relationship type. She is, let's suppose, suppose. Now, now I'd like to save these changes by using the, the save uh, icon, which is displayed for us. If I want to hide the inspector, I just have to click on the inspector and it's going to disappear from our, our graph. So that's the purpose of our demo and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.